Double pulls? Double stacks? Nice. No. Nope. Wait, what? Uh, he uh, pulled the wave? Pull. Yeah. Nice. He pulled the wave. You can do that, yeah. He got the, uh... Okay, you made him miss first blood, but Bone 7 also goes down inside because it gets caught inside the cox. So, going in that deep, perhaps a bit of misplay, not really, it's to be expected. But hey, he got the first blood, he got the advantage on that. But I think it's gonna benefit Clockwork, because the lane is now gonna be pushed up just a tiny bit, so he's gonna get more, he got a little bit of more farm than he was supposed to, and Viper gets to kill on Ogre Magi, or with Ogre Magi top. Setting up on the high ground, waiting for the Wisp to come up there. Stack up some jungle camps again, or maybe just go into the mid lane after nice stomp set stomp. up here. Messi follow up with the arrow, Zook also gets cast down. That's a beautiful setup here. Dunk one, they don't quite get the dunk on two. Zoo gets out of range, but damage over time should finish him off. Not before it gets an avalanche toss, though. An avalanche, uh, at least very least off. Two for two trades so far Weaver with the resultations coming in, but Weaver, yeah, doing a lot of damage here. The Bucks still on Gadrox. Well, a couple of right clicks to the trigger, especially with another cast. Bounces back to Cat 3x. This might be a fourth one going down with a little bit of extra help with the right click. And uh, the Maledict, ensuring the triple kill for the Witch Doctor. We'll see how it comes over this as top line. Ogre sends out a 3x. Some fireball careful. TV response. Sing Sing making the rotation as well. They lead off with the cast. And now cat 3x in really tough position. Easy stomp. Don't even need the arrow. Just right click him down. I guess tank the game. I'm not sure what he was <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what he was thinking there. I mean... Okay, nice little stomp. They only bring Messi back. Stomp into the arrow, that IO is dead. And let's want to try and turn this around. There's not too much damage being done, but now with the death ward finishing him off now, this first clock hook shot of the game. Pilot die gets caught and will be brought down in return. One for one trade so far. Eventually, please. No, he survives! Never mind, the toss comes out. Thank you, Zoo, for saving my prediction. Uh, <laughs> that was too close, though. That was way too close. Yep. The rocket player will give you more consistent power. And we'll allow him to scout out uh, jungle rotations, or if they want to push a tower, exactly what he did here. Scouts up behind the tower. As Weaver takes out. Well, okay, Spunky comes players. out into the middle lane here. Zoo have, shows off the blink tag and toss back onto the wisp. Sing Sing in a world of hurt. Rosplitter comes in here. Messi will not get caught by that. Only Gadrock snapping him back, but it only almost does more damage to Sexy Bamboo along. Oh, that hook shot. Almost catches him, but just short of the range. Could have been an extra kill coming their way, but finishing off Sing Sing Mirana here in this middle lane with sh uh, showing off the blink. Exactly what you want what to do a, after you just got an item like this and top. Bone 7. Uh, uh, it's looking for the ogre with the bugs nibbling away at him. He can get Even him. all that tanky, yeah. No help coming his way, so Cat 3 is actually yeah, freaking done. dead. Got rid of the bug though. But yeah, he's just, be, just being run down. You've been spooled. Being a blink dagger, there's one for Axe now as well. That's gonna be huge. That's gonna be setting up ganks with um, Potom and Titan, or, or just Witch Doctor himself. Opponent stomp into Arrow again. A bit of extra damage, it'll have it with the Star Storm. Gets off a couple of spells, but ultimately not enough to save his life. TP comes in now from Zoo, finds a combo on three people! Not quite enough to burst anyone down just yet though. Even though it's a 4-4. Everyone's in this. Now the death ward comes out. Pilot die low, but not low enough. Can't, can't, can't even get the stomp off. Uh, can't even get the stun off thanks to the stomp. And 33 now with the counter initiation of Messi and Gadrox here. That's a dunk down on the Wisp. Three is already down. Gadrox, the fourth one on the list. Tanky, yes, but not tanky enough. Double kill for the Coon. Pilot die is still a sum of surviving. The only casualty on the side of KP was Elder Titan. Useful in these kind of situations. You can you can maybe scan if you have that available, but you can also confirm that every single time with the rock flare. Now the hookshot comes in, finds Sexy Bambo, the arrow to counter this out though. Sexy Bambo, well, not a whole lot you can do as long as he stands in there, but he manages to make his way through. Combo here on 33, not quite enough to bring him down, but will die a couple of seconds later. Bone 7 trying to go for the Wisp here now, so he uses time maps as he's been focused down. Gadrox tanking a lot of damage here from the Death Order with the back nibbling away at him. Sing Sing comes in with a Star Storm to finish him off. So it's a 2 for 2 trade so far, so I didn't manage to bring down Bone 7, but now Pilot Eye gets on the cask. Messi, he's, he's actually slept up, he cannot, uh, cannot help us tiny out. Damage out from Sing Sing and Sexy Bambo, just too much. And the Axe is causing problems. And I don't think that Zoo needed to be going so hard against three heroes. Speaking of Zoo, that is. <laughs> oh, wow. That is That's a combo. A yeah. Plus the Rocket Flare to help finish it off, so yeah. that was a nice little pickoff. 
And they're looking for something here, zoo in front lines, but there's a sentry, little do they know, X comes in, still gets a call off. Messy caught on that too, that should be a dunk, especially with Stump coming in. 33 will give his own life out, Poland, nice little interruption, did not quite catch Pilot Die though, still chanting in the death ward. Doing a lot of damage to Gadrox, but that's still a tanky tanky Viper. But the big burst combo already down for TBE, so Kaipi can do that big burst damage right now. That he just got Messi, close, so he could cask into arrow, this should be a free pick off, unless Zoo can turn this around here. Messi should s might be still taking out to Maldic, but at what cost? Sexy Bambo caught with a, uh, with a clockwork again. They also have the sentries to make that work, so they bring him and Pylite down. Great baits here, Ayo still gives up his own life, but hey, definitely. 33 gets the call off, so Zoom just cancels the TP, gets, uh, resigns to his fate, uh, essentially. He's trying to make a trade happen. Five people run, might actually get a kill here with another toss, but doesn't actually find it. Everyone's so low of just fighting a single tiny, though. That's around. Gadrox in the front line still very, very hard to actually initiate on. The arrow will be dodged, a hook shot as well. Pone makes his presence known up on the high ground. He'll still find sexy Bambo now. He, all of a sudden, he's the one kind of isolated. Gets a stomp off on Gadrox, but Pone comes in, just walks in from the side. He's dusted up. Now the calls to save him. 33 pile die with a cast. Only bounces once. Now the arrow will be dodged with a blink from Zoo as he comes in for Pyla. Dice swaps him down with a big old tree. Now 33 also. Next one on the list. Trying to survive. Trying to one out with the extra armor. And TBE unwilling to overcommit into this here. Especially with a buyback from Pyla. Die. Kaipi can still take a fight. Unless they lose Bone 7, which is exactly what they do. I'm not sure what he was trying to do. I mean, you should have figured that TBE are no, <laughs> are no cheapskates when it comes to sentries. With that, they're looking for more. The arrow Boy once again will miss. Barely Pwn just dodging them left, right, and center. But this cask will be enough to bring it down at the end. Yeah, Kaipi kind of huh? weird. If if Titan was with the team across the river, they might have been able to take that fight just because you're, you're going to funnel everyone up that stairwell. As the pilot die dies. Also, uh, what? Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you're gonna funnel everyone up that stairwell, and we're gonna take it out. Let's call bottom. Gadro, can you get out of here? He gets really good. Okay, nicely nice. done. There's still Invis here, Bone 7 looking for more. There's still four heroes around. It was not a long uh, TP. But now the start to 33 prevents him from oh, actually getting too many extra right clicks off. Nice little Earth Splitter, enough to bring down Pone, especially with an extra dunk. Now Zoo dropping low, but Messi still able to keep himself alive barely despite the back nibbling weight. him. Tethering back to Zoo. And looking for him to kill his oppressor. And the Bone 7 dies again. Sexy Bamboo, the stumble barely actually miss. That's a 4 for 1 trade in the end. Sing Sing only barely able oh, to get out crap. after all of this. What is going on here, DFB? Um, well. So now, actually lands an arrow onto Pwn the Serbran with a double star storm. Not quite as potent though, so Pwn will not instantly be brought down. Will require the help from Pilot 33 to actually finish him off. But hey, kill to kill. Exactly what they need to kind of once again stabilize their own game plan now. So we're talking about that everyone's kind of tanky. So these fights should naturally take a little bit longer than it normally would. Cat 3x, also a bit of a rough position, gets caught with the Maldink, but he's a tanky ogre, gets some help from Messi relocating in. Now the hook shot here onto Pilar, die, nicely done. The arrow comes in, but the damage is still being done with a battery assault and a whisper is bouncing through. Should be able to bring him down with one more fire blast. Io actually the one claiming credit for the kill. Yeah, all of a sudden, Totem gold away from fights. Yeah, okay, looking for Gadrox up top. Okay, oh, it comes in though. Into the back lines here. They're looking to try and burst down as one of these supports. Miss a bit of the combo, but still get Pilot Eye. And uh, up a little bit further, the Elder Titan. Now it's Kaipi on the hard dart. Nice little hook shot here between the lines bo on Bone 7. But Ayo actually takes uh, <laughs> takes Clockwork away. Just leaves Zoo to be the sole carry up top. Uh, I guess with Gadrox also right clicking away. Cat3x will die to Bone 7 as he is able to skid away to the side, but don't not sure if TB care too much about this. Brought a couple of heroes down, down the bottom lane with the relocate back at the very least. Messi and Pwn can uh, provide some sort of damage to tier 2, but now Bone 7 will TP, looking for the Io that's also very, very low. Will be able to bring it down. Now it's Pwn all alone. He can't hook to a creep, perhaps. Now oh, Bone 7, beautiful positioning. Gets him on the. On the edge, short range arrow to cancel TP. Radiance the buyback though, forced out of stop lane. Yeah, okay, it's. 
You win a team fight, you bring down towers. It's not just the nature of a, of a tiny lineup. And he gets hit by the storm, gets hit by that earth splitter. Will be dunked down. So TBE overstaying the welcome. Gadrox, only one able to actually get out. Zoo comes oh back with the ages. But the arrow comes in on the death ward still going. So he will fall a second time. Gadrox able to survive, but he's the last man standing after this overcommitment. But hey, it wasn't an overcommitment though. They got the racks. Yeah, they get the racks. Their, their push, TBE's push is like kind of splitting Kite the apart right now. Um, they can only respond to so many areas that one given thing. This is how we expect. Cat 3x, see him when the comes out. Get rocks. Well, they have a jam between them, so they see everything that's going on. Relocate on top of the hook shot. A lot of bursts are being done by Sing Sing, and the combo does not actually quite land as Kaipi are able to split away from each other. No casualties just yet, but Messi and Pwn starting to drop very low and relocate back out, making sure that the stop misses. Another hook shot in on Sexy Bamboo. Just keeping him low, keeping him out of the fight. I will end up falling to Bone 7. So he tracks him down on the high ground as the rest of TBE. Managed to make their way out, so all things considered, could have been worse for TBE. Losing Io at this stage, not the biggest deal. Mm -mm, oh, uh, Bone 7 though, he's sitting on the low ground here, Zoo with a completed combo, but not enough to stop him from getting the time lapse off. Now to turn around with a cast, with a death ward, and the box, everything being dumped on TBE, and Gadrox, well, he's tanky with, uh, uh, with the Crimson God now, the hook shot in from Pwn. He might be able to survive, Sing Sing, not so lucky. But Pwn, well, he'll give his own life for it. Once again, 4 for 1 trade, they get Sing Sing, Gadrox survives just because he, he, with the kind of itemization in the end now. They're looking for the middle lane zoo, better get out of there. Looks like TB knows something's up on- oh, oh Messi, wow! What was he doing there? Hating out, I suppose, but Pwn coming in? Not a bad- enough. not a good place to be- This is Roshan will fall very, very quickly. It's gonna go down. Got 3x, alright, I'm not sure what that was about, just 4 stars in a really tough position. Pwn hook shots onto the freaking spirit. Thanks, Volvo. Well, the ogre is not long for the world. I don't know what that... Is TB panicking again? Because... I think they thought... I, I don't know. Like, like, they really need to clean stuff. I don't, I don't think people... Like, it should count as a unit. Pilot like, dead. for other... Oh, yeah, he's done. Nice little freebie here now, look, also looking for Sexy Bamboo. Still have the gem on the Viper, and the call from 33 here. Hookshot in from Bone7, just uh, onto Bone7, just preventing him from getting some extra damage out. Zoo pops his BKB, just turns it around, chopping away with this big old tree of his. Bone7 needs to be just something for some extra damage. They already used the time lapse earlier, that hookshot will miss. Now the E-Blade will be dodged when the Blink Dagger Zoo will only able to claim the Aegis straight off the bat. The Stomp though catches three heroes three in back right on top of 7. 33 with another call in on top of three heroes. Messi will fall first. Zoo still looking strong but no BKB just yet. No IO. No ball to keep him alive. So this is the point where TV should probably call it quits especially with Kai. Well, anyway, bottom lane, who is this? Is Bone 7. Uh, if they can burst him down, maybe, but it hasn't they worked before. Viper. They need some more lockdown. Oh, wow, we did get him. Yeah, very nicely played by Pwn there. He yeah. was uh, getting the position to use the, the cogs to give him the extra. 233 blinking in, those storms or whatnot. We'll have another, they will have another creep F coming in. Oh, okay, they're going in deep here. The hookshot comes in. Pilar die. Trying to come in on in deep, but oh. counterplay was there and the buyback's forced out. And now TBE find themselves inside the base. Dirty 3 looking for the call. Finds it on Zoo. The cast between him and Cat 3X. The BKB comes out, but the damage is still there on the physical side. They will lose their tiny, and now the retreat has to be called. TBE have to scramble to get themselves out of their pwn. Trying to do what he can. To get the, the uh, get the rest of the team time to move out. It's one TP. Cat three X will not be caught by the box in the side, so doesn't have a TP scroll unfortunately. So just gonna have to count on Kaipi not continuing to look for him. Yeah, dodging bullets like Neo. Yeah, pretty much. That could have turned out money. Yeah, this time up's available. They don't quite get the initial lockdown. Four stops galore. Gets off to the high ground. Oh my god. With the hurricane pike now. Time lapse back. The rest of Kaipi, nice no hook. easy ways to get in close. And now, finally, do track him down. Pwn in catches him in the arena of death. Unfortunate. Buy back the biggest damage dealer here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With with the tiny in there. 33 comes in. The hook shot. Uh, the arrow actually lands onto Zoo. Plus a stomp. Two force us out. With Pwn in the front line, just creating chaos, sacrificing himself. Will get dunked, but the racks. All that they need is Tiny to hit him, but hit it a couple of times. 
uh, change of suit, pile our die for a second as well, just to bring him down easily. And Zoo is down a drain, Bambo. Four stuff in, Yules into Storm. Zoo actually misses the timing there. Sexy Bambo has the ghost stuff to keep himself alive for the time being. Sing Sing. Well, he's dropping low. As Cat reacts, Gatrox is still very much alive. So is Zoo with another blink, another swipe. They finish off the top range tracks, and they can easily go now for the bottom lane. They only lost Pwn during all of that. Messi, I suppose, well, he's sitting at very, very low health points, just tanking 33 and Sing Sing's aggression, but I don't th think they really care. Tiny's nope. building damage is absolutely ridiculous. He needs like three or four hits to bring down a single building, a single Rax building. This will conclude the Magus, even if they all die here, which may happen here. Zoo just uh, dropping very, very low. Gatrox, Cat 3 at the same time, able to finish off the Axe. Yeah, There's no way to play against Magus.